All right, so let's get into this. So today we're going over the Nuzlocke Clips of the Year. This is a form that I made. I scouted and I stalked everyone who I follow on Twitch and I found the best Nuzlocke Clips of the Year. Uh, we got a lot of good categories. We got best Nuzlocke victory, best backseater moment, funniest moment, best clip of mine. Uh, DRXX, twitch.tv slash DRXX, go, go follow me. Uh, most heartbreaking loss, biggest pop-off, best rage moment, biggest fail, biggest clutch, best Iron Man moment, and Nuzlocker of the year. We're gonna be going over all of these. <laughs> We're gonna be going over all, all of these, uh, today. The first category is best Nuzlocke victory. Now, there were a lot of these this year. Uh, this year was big for Emerald Kaizo, uh, Radical Red was big this year, uh, there were a lot of other Romax 2, uh, so, uh, first up, in 7th place, uh, with 0.9% of the vote, now this doesn't discredit this, uh, this Nuzlocke victory or anything like that, uh, it's just how it is, but we got Flygon HG, Black 2, Dark Type Only, Hardcore Nuzlocke victory, let's check it out. I think this kills. We don't know. Maybe not. He's a god. Literally. Everybody watch Loki on Disney+. Plus. That's the game! Flygon really popped off this year. Great uh, monotype. Nuzlocker. I think he's done like about other really creative challenges. Uh, really blew up on YouTube this year. So congrats to him. This was definitely a, a tough challenge. Dark type only. I think this was... Yeah, this is... What temp is that? Attempt 8. So yeah, congrats to him. Um, next up, we got we got Soul Zero with a uh, Blaze Black in uh, two attempts. Uh, shout out to him. This run was unwinnable. Yeah, I honestly thought that you. I honestly thought Souls that you couldn't beat this challenge with your Elite Four team, but I was very impressed by how you played this. He's black second try. I honestly didn't think he was Second able to beat try. this. But yeah. He won with one GG. one Pokemon left. But yeah. This was a really cool victory. Uh, most people don't know the context of this. Um, he had a really bad uh, uh, team going into the Elite Four. And uh, his champion fights were uh, pretty manka. He just like barely got past uh, the E4. And uh, he was able to scrap together a good uh, N and gets his team. And he won with one Pokemon, so this was pretty pretty nice. Next up, we have Ludwig beating the Ludlock. Couldn't be happier that tomorrow I don't have to play this shitty fucking game. And that not only will I not have to play it, not only do I get to unban everybody who got banned. Nice, Ella. <laughs> But I'm officially the first person in the world to beat this video game. <laughs> That's so funny that he says it's the, it's the first person in the world to beat this video game. <laughs> because this is like an easier version of Renegade Platinum that like hundreds of people beat. But regardless, congrats to him. This was uh, big for uh, for Nuzlocking. This big of a guy playing a Nuzlocke of this difficulty. If you don't know, I uh, gave him a strat for Lorelei, and it was a pretty good strat, but he forgot to do one thing, which was substitute first uh, after using this, like, captivate strat, like, this complex thing on Lorelei, and he wiped the first time, but then he used this strat again, like, the same strat to beat the champion, so that was just really cool, uh, in my opinion, so that was pretty big. Uh, Dexa's first Emerald Kaizo E4 was Slowbro. Slowbro became the meta for Emerald Kaizo E4 and uh, like Emerald Kaizo in general. Uh, May came up with a bunch of strats, but this was like his big one. There it is. Yo, Slowbro is the future of Emerald Kaizo E4 runs. I'm telling you all. And there it is. And that started the uh, the Slowbro, all those Slowbro Elite Fours. Um, all right. For number three, we have Burrito beating Radical Red Hardcore Mode. Uh, Nuzlocke. The first person to ever do it. So, this clip doesn't do justice to how insane this Elite Four was. But, oh See my buddy. goodness. Okay, nice crit. This Elite Four was insane, man. <laughs> Thank you for critting on that turn, holy shit. Like, nobody thought that he was gonna the be able to do it. same thing happened to me on, on EK. What the fuck? Bro? Burrito himself didn't think he was gonna be able to do it. 
but he pulled it off with like some insane uh slur puff strats and some other crazy things like uh what was it did he like mirror move roar of time or something i don't know on uh, Easy on lance game. it was crazy the slurp roar of time what copycat yeah copycat i didn't even use typhlosion it was crazy um next we have Gian. The first ever Emerald Kaizo Hardcore Nuzlocke victory. Shout out to Gian, the micless streamer. I did safety, I did. This was really cool. This guy came out of nowhere and beat this game. <laughs> he literally came out of nowhere. Started streaming, and then boom, beat it. It's funny because this. This uh, Elite Four caused so much controversy. Everyone was like saying how this was fake and how like Emerald Kaizo is actually like an impossible game and whatnot. <laughs> but then everyone started using his strats and uh, being it after this. So yeah, shout out to Gian. Crazy how easily he beat this Elite Four with uh with this team. I mean, it's a good team. It's a really good team. But, uh, no Slowbro is, like, considered to be, like, a pretty bad Elite Four team nowadays. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, so first place for the best Nuzlocke victory goes to Pokemon Challenges beating Emerald Kaizo. You know, he worked we a lot- We beat Emerald Kaizo! <laughs> the voice crack. Oh, shit! <laughs> it was big for him. He worked a lot, uh, really hard on this. He wiped in the Elite Four before. Uh, 151 attempts. He played this for a long time. Uh, and yes! he blew up during Emerald yes! Kaizo, too. Like, most people <laughs> here in my chat and, uh, watching, like, you, like, most people started watching during Emerald Kaizo, or, like, right before that. Uh, and before Emerald Kaizo, he would get, like, like, a like, 5% of the viewers that he gets now. It's crazy how much this challenge or how meaningful this challenge was for his channel. So yeah. We beat Emerald Kaizo! Love that voice crack. Alright. Best Nuzlocke victory goes to Yawn. Alright guys, we got the next one. This is my favorite category. The best Nuz... The best backseater moment. <laughs> oh, there are some spicy clips in here, man. Kaizo! <laughs> Dude, there are some good, good clips in here. Alright. In fourth place, we got Run and Bun backseating Wolfie, doing a little bit of trolling. Run and Bums, are you, are you trolling? Run and 109, Bums. 109 Tentacle? That's, you, you, you're just gonna get crabby if you do 109 Tentacle. It's 20% with Goodrod. It's funny because this is like an actually good strat. <laughs> and he didn't know who. I don't think he knew who Run and Bun was. Maybe he did, but. Next up, we got DRXX telling Ludwig to fight Dahlia. This was so funny, dude. I said at Ludwig, the... <laughs> I said at Ludwig, the lady in the top right gives you 20 PP ups. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to see my message. <laughs> I didn't think so. But he was like, the lady in the top right gives you 20 PP ups? Oh, cool. <laughs> then he went up and fought. This trainer right here, the, her name is Dahlia. She's an optional trader. You don't even have to fight her, but she has like a crack team. <laughs> but you only have to fight to her if you talk to her. And I told him that, and he went up and talked to her. You lied to me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought I clicked the wrong. I felt. Girl, you I felt. Lied. Dude, I was laughing my ass up, but I was still like oh feeling a little god, bad. Oh my god! Why would you lie to me? I thought you liked me and shit, and you liked watching my stream. You lied to me! No, 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 no! Lie! After this, I gave him a winning strat for Lorelai oh and God, uh, and Cynthia to, to make up for it that he used on I his winning Elite Four run. And shit. So. And you liked watching my stream. You lied to me. So me and Ludwig, we can call it. We you can say we're parasocial buddies now. Did I say Lorelai? <laughs> Lucian. <laughs> I said Lorelai. Oops, my bad. Um. Okay. Next backseater moment, we got Kaizo Jerry. The, the, oh my gosh, this clip is so good. <laughs> so, for context, it's Cappy, new EK player. Kaizo for eight new EK player, 
Uh, this guy, he's he's only on his tenth attempt of the game. He uh, fought Roxanne, um, and he wiped to Roxanne, and apparently he had some wacky strats, and he brought like a Dunsparce to uh, Lunatone, and then there's this guy named in chat named Kaizo Jerry, who's uh, roasting him about it, and Ludwig, or <laughs> Cappy goes off, uh, goes off, uh, goes off about him. Kaizo for eight months still haven't beaten the game. I've been watching all these streamers do it for eight months, haven't beaten the game. They've been doing the same strat for fucking years. But like you never think outside the box. Dunsparce actually was a really good counter to Lunatone. Like you all are just assuming that you have to risk getting hypnosis Lunatone on the Grovile. You switch in, you have the Grovile out, you you bullet seed, does half damage, and then the Dunspar and then it hypnos you, you miss, you you kill it. Like if you have Dunsparce out, just goes off, bro. It does 20 damage. It just goes it has off. So much of a tank that it does literally 20 damage. Y'all are y'all are sitting so out here like you guys gatekeep Emerald, Emerald Kaiso, Kaiso like, like men gatekeep the, the gaming community for girls. <laughs> Holy shit! I've never seen like it. what? <laughs> Holy shit! This like Kaiso part. Jerry, get the fuck out of my lobby, kid. Holy <laughs> mother of God, get fucking banned. I do not need that kind of energy. Like. If that's what playing Emerald Kaiser is gonna bring to the team, like holy shit, <laughs> dude, it gets me every time. <laughs> oh, that clip was really close to winning. It was by uh, like twenty votes. Uh, but for the number one, we got Sun Boost's Solar Beam by PC. <laughs> so for context, uh, I forgot who he just fought, but I think he fought like a gym trainer. And, uh, he swapped in a Whiskash on a Solar Beam. Uh, in Emerald Kaizo, there's, and I think other games, there's Weird AI with Solar Beam in the uh, two-turn hit moves. Uh, where it has a chance to go for Solar Beam, even though it's not the highest damage, which is usually the case with other moves. Uh, and then his, he swapped in a Whiskash on Solar Beam and it died, and then this is after. What the fuck is a sun boosted solar beam, you absolute inbred fuck? <laughs> he was pissed. <laughs> Next up, we got funniest moment. We got some good ones in here. All right, first up, we got Moxie, which I don't know what this is, but <laughs> we got a Moxie clip. <laughs> Yep, there it is. <laughs> um, next up, we got Wacko uh, with an emotional roller coaster. This is the hardest fight in the entire game besides the Elite Four, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I think he only has one death so far. So this is actually really good. And then this happens. Yes! <laughs> no! And he dies. <laughs> Come on! Okay, next up, uh, third place, we have Shady Penguin. Let's fight this trainer. I don't even gotta worry about this guy. This guy's a joke. Oh. When you click the wrong move. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Alright. In the second place spot... My chat is gonna hate that this one didn't get first, but we got Burrito, EK in the hood. <laughs> this one is so good. I know, I'm surprised this one didn't get first either. This one, this one is legendary. So just a casual day of Emerald Kaizo. There's the newly added Kabu. <laughs> then Mans gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> Dude, I really want to know the context of this. Like, who was knocking, and why was it that loud? Apparently it's like some dude wanting something from his dorm or something. There's the newly added Kabu. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, number one, we got Ludwig getting pursued. This, okay, you gotta admit though, this, that was in a dorm, yeah it was. This clip is is really good you guys gotta admit you gotta watch the whole thing to really get a feel of of the clip well chat even if it had for whatever reason decided to use self-destruct i New Jersey, have a focus yeah, sash that would have been fine i would have farmed a great clip though 
I would have gone. No, no. And then I would have popped off when I lived. <laughs> <laughs> Waste of a sash? Eh, it's only a thousand. This is a mistake that I or like anyone else would make, dude. No! No! This was actually a good strategy. <laughs> he did risk poison, true. <laughs> then this happens. <laughs> Raising focus ash. Well, my bad. I didn't think fucking gunk shot would really do me in like that. <laughs> Homie used one. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh that my god. Really gosh. do me in like that. Dude, the cut Homie is so good. One. No! <laughs> Congrats to Ludwig for funniest Nuzlocke moment of the year. All right, next up, we got my own, uh, my own category. Gotta feed my narcissism a bit. The best DRXX clip from my channel. <sighs> we had we had some good ones this year. Uh, in the seventh spot, we got AI moment. This was my first Blaze Black Elite Four. You voted for that one. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Just double target. I'm doing these in nice. order if it won, Burrito. No! And then I get close combated. The reason that happened was because I had a Choppel Berry on my Tyranitar. I think. The AI in this game is super weird, but it usually goes for, like, Water times for effectiveness. But I think because I had a Choppel Berry, it close combated my Staraptor, and then it crit. <laughs> and then I wiped again in the Elite Four the next time I got it got there then i beat blaze black hardcore plus deathless on my 196th attempt um the next one we have is sub first uh, i was talking about this earlier but this was uh so this this one for context um i basically gave Sub ludwig this strat for sweeping lucian so basically this um, espion was the lead he led with a sash lectivire with captivate he used captivate to lower the Espeon's uh, special attack, and then he went into Metagross, set up a light screen, and then he went to Sceptile, and the plan was to sweep. All I need to do was click Substitute. If it crit, that's fine, he would just click Substitute again. And then he would Swords Dance, sweep the entire fight. But he didn't click Substitute. Substitute first. Dude, you sub first, don't risk crit. Oh no. I was so invested Sub in first. I literally gave him an no! entire strat. <laughs> you sub first. To beat. You're supposed to sub. This traitor. No! You're and he didn't sub, sub first. No. You're supposed to substitute. You're supposed to substitute. No. No. Uh, number five is Nuzlocke gone wrong. <laughs> Bro, this clip. There's too much happening in this clip. <laughs> This was, okay, so, this is, uh, so this needs context. So, this is Blaze Black Hardcore Plus Deathless, okay? Uh, this is the challenge that I did earlier this year. This is my 10th attempt at the game. This is my first time at Berg. Well, I'm not at Berg yet. Basically, I had a really good plan. I made a strat for, like, I, I was planning for, like, two hours. I made this crazy good strat. I had a 5% Relicanth encounter. Um, and I had my ed mons edged up, and then I accidentally walked into an optional in Berg's gym, overleveling my Relicanth and basically dooming me for Berg. And I wanted to stay in to not overlevel any of my other mons, and then this happens. This was before I even fought Bird One, and there goes my laptop. My laptop still has damage from that moment. <laughs> it's, 
the like bottom part of it is like falling off still. <laughs> Next up we have Never Worried. Easy, it's at easy, one easy, HP easy, and paralyzed. Easy, easy, easy. easy and I easy, really wanted this bag easy, on. Easy, we're fine, guys. We're fine. No Not way, even one shake. No there we go. All right. We got a uh, number three. Is uh, when a girl asked Drew on a date. This was when I was playing Vol. White 2. Also, there's a there's a new version of this Vol. White 2 coming out soon, which I'm going to be doing Hardcore Plus Deathless on the insane mode in. It's going to be a lot of fun. No! <laughs> I get a freeze on the Hydreigon that was about to murder me. This was with no calcs too. I didn't know if this was going to kill or not. Number two, we have DRXX Smash. Okay, this clip needs context, man. This clip... This clip needs context. Okay. So basically, Clay in Volway 2 is extremely difficult. Uh, flashback to the last time I fought uh, Clay, which was literally the attempt right before this. Or no, I would use my Swana to... Yeah, I would use my Swana to Feather Dance, uh, the lead hip out on. I would set up rocks, and then I would go into my pre-damaged Salic Berry Gyarados with Moxie and Aqua Tail everything to win, and then the Seismito would come out last. That was literally the only safe strat I had because I planned this fight out for like three hours, and that's like the only strat I had. Um, I missed my very first Aqua Tail, and I wiped. Now, this is the other attempt that I got to here, and I'm using the exact same strats. And then I missed my very first Aqua Tail again, and I was pissed. I was just not having it. That headset broke, like, right. Actually, wait. I might have that headset somewhere. I think I have it somewhere. But, uh... Dude, that that uh, that headset, like, barely works, but, like, the thing on it, like, came off. And, like, it, the wire, like, detached. And I had to, like, put it... I have to, like, put it in a weird way. So that's why I got a new headset. And number one, the best DRXX clip of the year. You guys already know what it is. Yes. This is my first attempt of Renegade Platinum Hardcore Plus Deathless. Uh, no, not my first attempt, but uh, this is my first time at Maylene on my Renegade Platinum Hardcore Plus Deathless. As you can see, can you see that on stream? No, you can't see it, but the title is two hours of theory crafting down the drain. I literally theory crafted for my lane for two hours. And I came up with an amazing strat where I would like pee pee stall like three mons and, uh, and I would use like choice scarf Milotic to be infernape and all this stuff. And I was ready for the fight. And uh, it was going well. All I had to do was, uh, I think it was edging. This was before like PK Hex edging was really a thing, I think. Um, or like when it was like first starting out. So I was edging my, my Milotic for the fight. And then I was edging, and then the Splink showed up. I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep edging. And then this happened. Yes. <laughs> Alright, most heartbreaking loss. We got Wacko losing his mining. The reason I put this in was because just the way he reacted to the mining death. It was it was it was it was sad. Why did the encore end again? And then you got like the happy uh lo-fi music as well. Why did the encore end again? Really? Twice? This early? Wait, encore ended? Wait! No 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 It was out of PP. Buddy, why did this work? It's out of PP. No! Oh shoot. Okay. Rip plus soul. 
All right, number four. <sighs> this one hurt, man. Uh, this was recent, too. This is uh, Joe Fur trusting chat. So for context, this is Emerald Kaiser Elite Four. Uh, biggest moment of your nuzlocking uh, experiences. Um, he's in a very intense fight against Glacia. It's still looking good for him. Seems like he can get out of this fight um, alive. <laughs> um, and basically, uh, the Waylord is out. The Waylord is pretty tough. It has a uh, Hyper Voice, Water Spout, Self Destruct, Amnesia. It uh, is very bulky too. Uh, basically. He was wondering if he could go into his uh, Dusclops because uh, uh, Water Spout is only 8 PP and he thought that he uh, PP stalled all the Water Spouts. And as you can see, it's only Hyper Voice, Self Destruct, Amnesia as the other moves. So Dusclops will be completely safe here. So he asked, so he asked chat, hey guys, are you sure that it's out of Water Spouts? And uh, someone, not going to say who, uh, says that. He, he used eight spouts. Now, we could sit here and say whose fault it is and whatnot. You know, the chat should have said this. But in reality, you should be counting PP on your Elite Four. But still, <laughs> it was heartbreaking. You guys are sure about this, right? It was very sad. <laughs> I'm doing it. I trust it. He switches in on the last water spell, PP. The very last water well, spell. That's it. GG. Oh, dude. He could have won that too, man. Uh, yeah, you pretty much lose uh, the Elite Four if you don't have Dust Clubs. Oh, that was so sad. That was heartbreaking. Um, next up in the third slot, we have Burrito with a Deathless Emerald Kaizo Life. For context, he's doing one Death Eagles reset, Emerald Kaizo hardcore, but he's picking his encounters. Um, and uh, so basically, he loses one Pokemon and he dies. Uh, for context, there's a lot of context for this clip. So basically, uh, when you're doing this challenge, you have to uh, plan out a lot of stuff. Especially, even like it getting encounters, you have to plan out. So basically, he was trying to get a... I don't know exactly what he was going for, but he was going for an encounter here. And he knew that there were wild quillfishes in the... In the... Uh, in the... Uh, in the water. And he cal calculated the speed of like a plus speed max uh, speed IV uh, quillfish. And he determined that his Zatu always outsped. But the thing is, uh, when the game calculates whether you could run or not with your speed, it doesn't include badge boost. And he had badge boost on in his calc. And without badge boost, he doesn't outspeed like a really speedy Zatu or fish and then this happened this scary no and he has to reset what? he's really deep in the game too by the way what really deep in the game what <laughs> even though he didn't calculate correctly count that this. Even if, even though he didn't calculate that, that's really unlucky for this coalfish to have insane speed and go for one out of four explosion. All right, second place for heartbreaking loss, we got Wolfie. This one was crazy, man. It was looking, it was looking really good for him. This, he's fighting Drake right before the champion fight. He, uh, it looks like his team is really good. Uh, and he's got his Umbreon out against the Mets. You just gotta like chip the Mets and then go kill with something else. Uh, but th this clip doesn't do justice to how insane uh, this uh, e EK loss was. He got flinched like what, like seven times, and he got like some. Cr he got crit a few times too. This was crazy. This was absolutely crazy, and this was just the start of it. I always in power here for sure. Don't flinch. He got crit, flinch, flinch, crit, and flinch, cr 
and then crit, I think. Yeah, something like that. The winner for the most heartbreaking loss, you guessed it, it was Pokemon Challenges, attempt 77. Alright. This is it, boys. Just explode, you piece of shit, please! <laughs> DC stands really boss. coming out. Yeah, this was, I think it was like 50 50 uh, to boom here. Fuck me. He was in a bad spot already. Uh, mainly because his Ludicolo got crit. But, um. Yeah, put him in a really. It was three fourths to boom. Oh, never mind. <sighs> and then, uh, that was attempt 7070. He didn't beat it for, like, until attempt 151. Next up, oh, I love. Dude, this. <laughs> this category is really good, too. We got the biggest pop off. In sixth place, we got Spega Sparse. Dude, even sixth place is 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 good, man. Dude, this one is so funny. <laughs> He's doing a sacred gold. I think this is Elite Four or something. Or a rival fight. Yes! Yes! Dude. <laughs> the scuffed mic. <laughs> Eat my fucking asshole! <laughs> I gotta watch that again. Yes! Yes! <laughs> God, that was amazing. Alright, next up we have Savian. <laughs> I think he was fighting like a double teamed Kingdra or something. And his. And his, uh. And his chat was like telling him really bad stuff. <laughs> really uh, bad advice. Going for the mogul move. He's going for the mogul move. Thunderbolts. Ah! Sit down, baby. Sit down, baby. And then he slaps his chair. <laughs> yeah, use fucking charge. <laughs> fucking use charge. In fourth place, we got Kuroway first character shiny. This wasn't much of a pop off, rather than just like an insane moment. I didn't know where else to put it, but dude, this was this was crazy. <laughs> this was absolutely insane. This is his first encounter. Keep in mind, I think Lan uh, Chinchu here is like a is like a thirty percent encounter, and he wants Volt Absorb. He's quick. This is his Show first encounter. Right here. 40%. Please? It's 40%. Okay! And he gets a shiny okay. Chinchu as his first encounter. Okay. He doesn't even realize it. Both absorb. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> he realizes it's shiny. <laughs> he has a plushie of it too. <laughs> this is crazy. It was also Volt Absorb and Modest, by the way. <laughs> Literally, like, you can't even ask for Show anything else except for, like, Poke right Rust on it. Alright, number three, we have Liam with a Brawly win. Uh, for context, Liam was the only person, or, like, he was the first person doing Emerald Kaizo on stream. And he was doing a 15 slash 19 level cap for... Uh, Roxanne and Brawly, props to him for going through all this, man. <laughs> for, uh, for going through all that pain and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is a 19 cap Brawly, which is, like, uh, insanely difficult. Insanely difficult. And he, and this is the last Mon. That's a crit, that's a crit, no, no crit, no power, no crit, no power. <gasps> we won! We won! Fuck you! Nah! Don't quit the pair. <laughs> Dude, this. Oh, this clip is so good. Dude, the. Like, there's a video of the full fight that's like two minutes. Oh, man, this clip. <laughs> so funny. So good. I don't even know. I, I, don't, I don't have words to explain. You just gotta watch it. <laughs> Wrecked. Wrecked. What the hell is that weak shit, Lumberry? Get that wrecked. Weak shit, Lumberry? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm broken. No, I'm broken at this game. You don't understand. High jump kick, get wrecked. Yeah, get wrecked. 
absolute embodied. <laughs> Such a meme. <laughs> Don't crit. Somewhere. Yeah, crit wouldn't even matter, bitch. <laughs> Protect. <laughs> it's choice, it's choice. It's choice, yeah, of course. Absolutely shrecked. <laughs> there it is. What the fuck? Number one for the biggest pop off. Guys, this clip, when I found it, it had 10 views. I found this clip had 10. It's over! Hold up. This clip had 10 views it's when I. Over! This clip had 10 views when I found it, okay? I found this guy from the Rocket Lock challenge that I was doing. Uh, if you haven't watched the Rocket Lock video, uh, go watch it. It's gonna be linked. Um, it's uh, it's a very good video. Uh, it was a fun challenge. But basically, I met this guy during the Rocket Lock. Uh, this guy, he mainly plays Apex Legends, but he does like Nuzlocke every now and then. Um, and I was and and like for context, I was like going through everyone who I followed, looking at everyone's clips. And I just, I went on this guy's channel, I was like, oh, this is just Apex Legends, there's no way there's any good Pokemon clips here. And then I found this clip with 10 views, and it has a hun it has 167 now, but this clip had 10 views. It's over! Attempt number 14! We got the dub! We got the dub! <laughs> Energy ball! Kill, Kill this bitch! bitch. Let's go! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like what? <laughs> Fuck this game, let's go! <laughs> Woo! My cock is erect! <laughs> oh my Excuse god! Excuse his cousin. <laughs> Alright, we got the best rage moment. We got some... <laughs> we got some good ones in here. Oh man. Alright, um... Number five, we got Savian. Saving had enough. This is the Elisa fight in Blaze Black. Uh, he was just about to win. Earthquake for the win, baby. Alright then. Flame charge, that's fine. Don't crit. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this game sucks. For context, Sabian like never curses. Also, you he can't he can't win me. with the rest of the team. He can't. He is he, he wiped after this. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> we got Brawling John Scuff Mike Rage. <laughs> Look at this layout. <laughs> he flinched me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, this game's fucking bullshit, dude. Fuck you, game. <laughs> he wakes up in one turn. <laughs> Look at the flinched, layout, bro. <laughs> and then Persian gets a flinch. Yeah, suck my nuts. We're gonna have to start a new run, guys. This sucks. He was pissed. This sucks. <laughs> All right. Um, number three, we have Burrito. This wasn't too much of a rage moment, but Burrito had so many good clips that I wanted to spread them around. So for context, or I'll, I'll let the clip play first. Yo, let's get a god mauled over the boys. Okay. We're jolly, right? All right. Intimidate this. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> For context, this thing has to be like max attack IVs uh, in nature and like get a 1 out of 16 high roll crit and get the 1 out of 4 superpower to use. <laughs> that was so funny. For our biggest rage moment, we got Dexa <laughs> telling a chatter how he really feels. I mean, I was literally not paying attention because chat was being fucking stupid. Can I just ban the person who was being dumb? Let me find his name. I want to get some joy out of this. Let me ban Tommy. Fuck you, Tommy. <laughs> this you is Tommy. all on Tommy. Never come back again, kids. <laughs> his, his name is... This is all... Oh, wait. It's not... It's... Okay, okay, never mind. His username ben. is Tommy in it. RL. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. It's all on fucking Tommy. Alright, number one. We got Kerway, time to go back to Minecraft. Now, I'm not gonna say that Kerway quit Nuzlocking after this, oh, but let's just killed. say, yeah. let's just say he hasn't streamed a Nuzlocke since. 
<laughs> he's he's probably he probably does like nuzlocks after this, but he kind he kind of just quit <laughs> nuzlocking after this. <laughs> and hopefully, have to waste kills. Yeah, and then I just wipe here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, dude. <laughs> I play this game on a weekend to reset my mental, man, and I get obliterated. Oh my god, dude, that rage. <laughs> Congrats to Curry away for winning the best rage moment. <laughs> the uh, ways that, yeah, this is the biggest fail. Number seven, we got Ding Dong Games wiping to Calvin, the first trader of the game in Emerald Kaizo. Actually, like in Renegade Platinum, I don't do that too much. Because I'm quite confident with that game, but this game, like, especially because I never made it that far before in this game. Oh, God. oh shit, got crit. Like, <laughs> whatever, like. He just stayed in with Rico. Number six, we got Red Blue Candy. This was more of a throw than a, than a fail, I'll be honest. Okay. So he finds the Arbok dupe. Wild encounter. Can't escape, uh, alright. Let's just uh, switch to our Gyarados real quick. This Gyarados is faster. Yeah, it gets Sludge Bomb crit, but you know, we, we could probably just run from this because I'm faster. No need to swap out or anything. <laughs> this is one of his most important mods of the game. Alright, next up, we got Questionable Specimen getting softlocked in White 2 Kaizo, the best uh, ROM hack of all time. True, James. <laughs> You're in my way. Please. Please. I'm so the, my way. the raw macker North put an NPC in this North specific North. tile. This the only tile that would Fuck. soft lock him. All right. Next we got Squirk. We're, uh, math and logic and science cannot explain what happens here. <laughs> Nothing can can explain what happens here. Yeah, he, he should be dead. Because he outrages, triggers my iron barbs and leech seed. And then I protect. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. I think we win. Let's go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he had a Dragonite out and clicked EQ. <laughs> he gets crit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like what? Why? What? How does that happen? All right, number three, we got shockingly Gongus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We got shockingly Gongus Elite Four. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! <laughs> this is Emerald Kaizo Elite Four attempt forty six. This is the first. <laughs> this is the first trainer of the Elite Four. <laughs> Swallow always kills. Swallow always kills, guys. Just gotta click it. So we slash. just need to facade it. 80% of the time. Chat, count with me. One. One. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 yo, shit, what? Then he gets blasted, dude. <laughs> what? Oh man, number two we got burrito. Wait, do I not have why not on my team? Checking to I see don't. if why not's on his team. I oh, he do does have why not. Let's check Semery. Oh, no! never mind. Let's check. Let's send it into a ice beam. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Having to reset the entire run. <laughs> All right, number one we got Yawn forgot, and he gets hit by flying uh, or a thunder when he's flying. I forgot! Who was Yawn? <laughs> Alright, biggest clutch. Cappy, Don Fan Holt, this- I love this clip. This was an insane clutch. You've gotten us through so much, you just gotta hold on here. You just gotta fucking hold on here. That's it, that's all there is to it, you just gotta hold on. Hold the fucking line, baby! Hold it! He's got the drip. And there Holy you go. Shit. Peanut clutch. Peanut! You fucking animal! 
This was insane. He would have wiped if... Oh, well. I have a feeling this is explosion. I'll let this play. He's paralyzed too. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Imagine wiping the corny too. Couldn't be me. Come on, come on, come on. No, please, 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 please. It's an Omni boost. Yes! Come fight. on! This has to kill. Probably oh. would have wiped if that did oh if he did hit that. Oh. And he's he's really late into the game too. This this was insane. Gerald, come on. We we've prepared for this. We we spent the entire episode preparing for this. Blizzard comes out. This is gonna hurt, mate. I'm not gonna be around the bush. This is gonna be this is gonna hurt a lot. But Gerald, as long as you land this iron tail. Barely lives the blizzard. Gets an iron tail oh, no. off. Oh no. Gets a crit. Did Gerald just save himself? I think he just- Gets a level up. And then barely lives the hail. Oh my god! He did! He did! Gerald saved himself! Oh my god! Jill's the goat. Switch mode? We don't- I mean, we, we're just gonna ignore that. What's up, Tyra? Alright, and number one for the biggest clutch. <laughs> Dude, th everyone else got scammed, bro. <laughs> we got Burrito hitting a fissure. That didn't matter. Dude, everyone else got scammed in this category. <laughs> this was cool, though. This was cool. There's no way- there's no way we're hitting, dude. This was hype though. This was super hype. <laughs> There's no way we're hitting. <laughs> Yo! It's a fissure. <laughs> On the champion fight in Vintage White. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> and that's the last mod. Oh my god! In third place, we got Hard Ments by Mr. Ding Dong Games. Mine probably. He's he's somewhat deep into the run. Mens is his most valuable Pokemon. What else even, Chooses what not else to sack something. There's a Quillfish out that's about to click explosion. Oh my god, they're still like... This guy's got the biggest balls. Just hard Mens on the explosion. Dodge crit. And that thing is... The balls, and then he just goes on like nothing happened. We got best Iron Mon moments. Lance can heal him two this more is times. a huge power electivire. <laughs> totally possible. It's done! We fucking did it! Let's and he go! did it! We Woo! Done! Let's go! Let's go! 400 tries. He just got Parish Songed on his Raikou. He's really, he's really deep into the game. I don't know where he is in the game, but he's really deep in the game. Um, and he just got Parish Song, and there's still Mons in the back. So basically, he's about to lose the, the attempt. And he needs something very specific to happen. If this very specific thing doesn't happen, he, he has to reset this entire thing. Did that have no guard? All right, Prage for some kind of swap move. Come on. This Parish Song fell to two. Oh, 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 this is insane. Oh, oh, so you're not allowed to switch in no Iron Man. <laughs> and he's dancing. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see this again. He's dancing! Oh, 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 Look at him dance! He's dancing! No way! Holy Look at him dance! Look at him! Alright, number one, we got Wacko predicts the future. This is this is really funny. Akina, so we should, unless he has a water move, which what are they gonna give him? Hydro cannon?
We're not going to give him Hydro Cannon. Oh, never mind. No, shit! <laughs> And there we have it. That was the best Iron Mom moment. Congrats to Wacko. We had Dexa, Gian, Burrito, Pokemon Challenges, Bach Nation, Moxie, Wacko, and Ludwig. And the winner of Nuzlocker of the Year is between Yawn and Burrito. Does Burrito have the upset? Did Burrito prove himself enough this year? To, uh, to win the dub for Nuzlocker of the Year 2021. It was close. It was really close. But the winner of Nuzlocke uh, of the Year 2021 is B Pokemon Challenges! Everyone give it up for Pokemon Challenges! Oh my gosh, let's go! Pokemon Challenges! Attaboy Pokemon Challenges for winning Nuzlocke of the Year. Oh my goodness. Let's go Pokemon Challenges. Also, congrats to Burrito for getting second place.